Hi everyone, today we will be doing an oil change on a 2017 RDQ7 and this uh, applies to all the 2017 to 2019 RDQ7. So these are the items you will need to complete this oil change. 7.5 quart uh, 5W40, uh, I use a Castro. That's what was recommended by Audi. You can see that on the oil cap, castor oil. So that's what I use. I got it at Walmart for $27 for the jug. And uh, I got the oil filter uh, from Hengst. He's a German brand, very, uh, very good quality brand. And uh, we will use 7.5 quart of this. And uh, I also have uh, the oil filter uh, uh, adapter to, to unscrew the oil filter. So this is a 38, I'm sorry, 36 millimeter. And I have uh, a T45 Tox. This is to unscrew the drain plug at the bottom and then i have a screwdriver set uh, these are we will need uh, the t20 and uh, the phillips i think to a flat head screw uh, driver to remove uh, the on the belly panel at the bottom of the vehicle so with that let's get started so we will start by using a flat screwdriver to loosen up the underbelly panel. Okay. There's one more here. Again, uh, oil chain is just a personal preference. Some people like to suck the oil from the top. Personally, I like to just drain it so everything comes out. All right, guys, uh, I have uh, removed enough bolt. I think this is good enough. If you want, you can remove uh, the bolt at the back to drop the whole panel, but I don't think that's that's necessary because the, the drain plug is right here and we have enough room to just put uh, the oil pan here to be able to drain the the oil so no need to remove the whole thing but if you want more clearance you can drop the whole thing just three more bolts at the back there okay so this is a t45 docks i'm going to use that to remove the drain plug some glove to unscrew the, the rest.
Okay. The oil uh, is coming out. All right. Now we are going to remove the oil filter. There's a couple of clips here. We can use a flat screwdriver to remove them. So here is the first clip. You can pop it with a flat screwdriver. And the second one is right over here. All right. And then we will just lift this thing. I'll remove it. My goodness, my air filter is dirty. Alright. Now, after removing the cover from the air filter, we have more room and we can see the uh, air filter housing here. And uh, to remove uh, the cap, we need a 36 millimeter adapter and we just put it in there and then just unscrew it okay I think it's uh, is loose. Oh my goodness! I just dropped that. It's loose enough. Let's remove it. Okay. Okay. So that's our filter throw this one away and we install a new one okay now let's get the new oil filter let's remove the old one Close that, and we need to remove the O ring also. Is a new oil filter. So go ahead and install that. Okay. And the new Oh, ring also. Okay. 
should have put glove on his hands my left hand also well, it's okay it's too late now okay all right All right, let's put it back. All right. to screw that in with my hand first and then I will tighten it there. Okay. Good. Now let's go back at the bottom and put uh, the drain plug back and then we can fill up the oil. So we are going to put back uh, the drain plug so we are going to put back uh, the drain plug all right and uh, we will use a T45 to tighten that up. Okay. Now it's time to fill up the oil. Now we are going to fill up the oil. Let's remove the cap. This vehicle takes a T45. I mean, take 5W40, 7.5 quart, all right? Okay, this is five quart. I will add half of this. So it's good uh, to check. There is a 
can check they have the limitation is delimited here so you can check halfway through to make sure that you don't uh, overfill it I have a two audi q7 I will do or changing the other one later on so let's start filling it up uh oh Uh, let's check where we at. We have one point five to go. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, that should do it. All right. All right, let me close this first and then let me wipe down the oh yeah. So now it's time to reset. You can put the cover back. To put the cover back, it's very simple. then put a clip uh, back on on the right and left side like I showed you now let's go inside the vehicle let's see I don't think I have the key let me go find the key and we can reset it all right now we are back inside the vehicle and we need to reset it To reset it, uh, we go to menu. Now we are back inside the vehicle, and uh, it's time to reset it. Okay, so to reset it. We use the pad here, we click on menu, and we use the scroller, we select a vehicle, and then uh, we come over here, and we select service and check, oil, uh, oil uh, let's see, should be oil level, service center level, yeah. So we select uh, reset oil change. Okay. All right. Yes. And uh, reset oil interval. Yes. Okay. All right. This has been reset. So this will do it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any question feel free to leave them in the comment please like and subscribe i will have more uh, content coming up so that helps me when you guys subscribe that that's encouraging i appreciate it and take care